for you. I'm hearing other footsteps, but I don't know if they're further down the hall or if they're behind. I'm a little bugged out because the last time around, Maria's fucking getting pummeled by a fucking nurse right out of the gate. What are you looking at, man? Oh, just Maria again? Okay. <laughs> oh, poor James, you horny bastard. Anything over here? No, nope, just an elevator. There's a cover over the elevator's coal bucket, so we can't use that. But that does tell me that there might be a key that unlocks that lockbox. <laughs> lockbox. Die! Oh, you ain't doing shit, bitch. Health drink. Awesome. I can always use a health drink. And speaking of which, I should probably... Okay, so I'm still good. Now, if you just utilize health drinks when you get down to red, sometimes it'll slip down and you don't even know it. But yeah, just keep an eye on that because one good hit and it is game over, fool. You are going down for the count. Alright, so there was a code that we were told back in that doctor's lounge, uh, 7335. Uh, that's the third floor patient wing. So now that we know that that's a patient wing, we're going to try the code on that door, if it even needs one. We should be good to go. Oh, God. Really? At least they weren't behind us. Die! Kick you right in your fucked up face. So I got a first aid kit. Excelente. Alright, nothing else really there. Can't get in there. Ooh, locked? What is this? You look like a creepy fucking... Ah, special treatment room. So you know the real big nut jobs went in there to hang out. Yeah, there's nothing else here on this part of the floor, so we're going to... Oh, okay. So, it was 7335, right? We're going to slap that in. Unlocked. Let's go in. Alright, so... Can't go in either one of those. Uh, here, weird shit. Doing that one or that one. Oh god. James. <laughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. It's just a hangover. You should yeah, I know rest. about those. Mm. <laughs> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Ooh, what's this bloody shit? A roof key. Awesome. Now, before I go up to the roof, I'm going to go ahead and check out this hallway. Oh, man, she almost fucking pegged me right in the fucking dome. Stupid pipe. Ooh, a door I can go into. What's in here? What's this? There's something stuck in the drainage pipe. If the hole is too small, I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Maybe if I had a long, narrow tool of some kind. Well, stick your dick in there, James. Come on, now. Okay. This is a stupid mannequin thing. Now, if I gather correctly, these guys don't even move unless you get close to them. 
You're not really that dangerous to the fast moving either, so that's also a plus. I'm gonna reload here. I'm not too concerned about my bullets. I got 110. I mean, that's a grip of bullets. Yet another save. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize it. And I'm not entirely convinced just yet that the uh, amount of saves that you have actually impact your ending. Uh, it's all in-game actions. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. What about here? Always check the last door, folks. Because that's usually a safe bet. There's something written on the wall. Luis, I'll take care of you for ever. It's my destiny. All right, what's this? Good God, somebody doesn't want us getting in here. All right, so if I remember correctly from our memos, there was a few things, uh, one of which was the imprint on the carbon paper, well, which we're going to read right now. All right, one, two, nine, three. Uh, the button key doesn't scare me. Blah, blah, blah. So, one, two, nine, three, button key. Let's try one, two, nine, three on that box that's on that, on that fucking box. A box of a box and a box. It's an Inception thing, folks. Alright, so that worked. And then there was also another weird thing here. A key. So we're going to use that. So I got that chain off. I don't think I had any memo here that told me what that number is. But we did have that purple bull key, so let's see if we can use this. Alright, so all that's in the way right now is this stupid combination lock. Which you'd think James would just go ahead and use the steel pipe on, you know, maybe use his head a little bit. But nope, we gotta play by the rules. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so now that we got the roof key, we're going to make it back out into that main hallway, into the stairwell. And Marie is just going to stay in S3, so she's safe. Alright, climb up the stairs if you can, James, you drunken fuck. Alright, so that worked. Is there anything else over here? Nope. Alright, in we go. Here's the roof. What's this over here? There's something on the floor. Is this a diary? May 9th. Rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th. Still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th. Rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th. Rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released. That I've got to go home. I. The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? Well, that doesn't sound good. Is there anything up here I need to look at? Is there anything over here? The metal net is rusty and falling apart. It looks like if I push it hard, I could move it away. Oh, damn! Uh... Oh, fuck me. Goddamn pyramid head. Let's see if I made it. Well, I'm alive, so I guess that's good. And there's that one weird door. I wonder if we're on the other side of it now. Well, first things first, and that knocked us way down in the red, so we'll go ahead and use a first aid kit. Yes, we are on the other side. We are in the special treatment room area. So we'll unlock that door. Can I get in there? What about here? 
Well, something written on the wall here. What does that say? 2951? Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not to forget them, so I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. So, 2951. Hopefully that's a 9. But, I mean, it's not like, you know, we're under deep pressure to do it. We'll just keep trying until we get it. Something was written. We'll read it. If Joseph looks calm, he can be taken out of his cell. Alright, so I'm not sure that that number appears in here. Let's take a look. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Yes, it does. 2951. So just remember that, folks. Let's hope I do. Alright, out we go. Alright, so we are in fact on the third floor. I want to peek in at Maria here, make sure she's still okay. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. Yeah, he seems kind of like a single-minded individual. You know, if he gets something stuck in there, it's all he thinks about. Well, whatever. You know, it's part of the path. It's what he's got to do. Now, we're going to get to that last room. 2951. We'll try it out. Alright, turn, turn, turn the numbers. Okay, so I got these backwards, so I'm going to swap the 5 and the 9. You got to be shitting me. So obviously, I'm not reading something correctly, but those numbers are hard to read. No joke. Alright, so next time write more legibly in blood, stupid. Okay, so that's definitely a 2. Let's try 8 for the second number. Nope. Okay, 7. Let's try 7. Yeah, seven nine eight one. You got to be kidding me! That didn't even look anything like it. Nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. Disgusting. So somebody obviously well, coveted those strands of hair like they were gold, and they locked it up in a box with like five or six different fucking locking mechanisms. That's just crazy shit. All right, so we're gonna go back here to that one room. Um, yeah, there was that shower room that had that weird shit. See, we got hair and we got that bent needle. We might be able to combine them and get whatever's in there out. So let's go ahead and try it out with the new function, combine. That actually isn't in the first one, but if we combine those two, should get down in there. Can you do it? You did it! Elevator key. So, cool. Now we can use it on that elevator. Get past that stupid lockbox. And it was back over this way. Alright, and since we're on the third floor, we're going to go ahead and jet down to the second floor. Or wait a minute, no. See, we've already been on the, uh, the second floor. This elevator actually takes us to a different spot of the building. So if you recall, down there on the first floor, 
We couldn't get in there, but now we can through the elevator. So let's hit the first floor. Got to be something interesting, right? <laughs> 